Making Bitcoin future price predictions is fun, but they're usually just random guesses. But what if we could use real data to mathematically predict the next BTC all-time high? Today we're going to be trying to mathematically predict the next BTC peak, and where better to start than the Pi Cycle Top Indicator, which has not only identified exactly when the next Bitcoin price peaks have occurred in the past, but has also kind of suggested where the next all-time high price might be, looking at the percentage differences between these lines when they cross and the Bitcoin price at the time of crossing. We're also going to be using the Bitcoin Cycle Master Chart, which has actually predicted the Bitcoin price peak with quite a startling degree of accuracy in every single previous cycle. So we're going to collate these two to try and forecast the next Bitcoin price peak. And just to really clarify before we go into this, Again, this isn't any financial advice. This is almost certainly not going to come to fruition. We're using the data that's currently available to us to try and forecast and model how that may look if conditions was to stay fairly constant going forward, which conditions never stay constant. But now that we've got that out of the way, let's get into it. So what I've done here is really simply just used the CSV data download button on the Pi Cycle Top indicator chart exported that and now we can play around with the actual underlying data to see how we can maybe model this to look at Bitcoin's price going forward. So what I've done for this is looked at the recent percentage change in both the 111 day moving average and the 350 day moving average multiplied by two to see when they will actually intersect based on their current trajectory. So looking at this data, the data I used was from the 22nd of December. So using that data, we can see that they're actually due to intersect on the 23rd of August, 2024. So not that long away, actually. What we can actually do to almost validate this data is look to the first few days to see if this kind of modeling has any accuracy at all. So if we just look to the 23rd of December, which is the day after I download the data to model this, it predicted the 350 day multiplied by two moving average to currently be at $57,581. And it predicted the 111 day to be at $33,418. So very quickly, if we just go back to here, we can see that on the 23rd of December, this 350 day multiplied by two was $57,579. So there's a $2 discrepancy there. And the 111 day was 33,415. So a $3 discrepancy there. So obviously this is a pretty rudimentary method of future forecasting using the most recent rate of change percentage, but ultimately it's not a million miles away. And obviously, like we said, this is under the assumption that conditions stay constant, the rate of change of these two stays constant, which isn't true, they're gonna change every single day. But if they roughly stay similar, like we saw before, they're going to intersect 23rd of August, 2024. So if we were to just draw on what this might look like is this 111 day continuing to move to the upside like this and the 350 day multiplied by two would continue increasing but at a slightly decreased rate until they crossed summer of 2024. That's what we're kind of anticipating based on this data if the price action and all other conditions stay somewhat the same as they currently are. What we can also do is just look at the percentage difference, like we said, of Bitcoin's price and these averages at the point of cross to maybe get an indication of the price of Bitcoin when this cross occurs. So we can see here that when the cross occurred in late 2017 for this Bitcoin all-time high at the time, these averages were at about $7,000 and Bitcoin's price peaked at about $19,000. So it was about two and a half times, nearly three times the value of these. And then in the most recent cycle, we could see that these values were at $45,000-ish and Bitcoin's price peaked at least at this first all-time high at around $63,000, $64,000. So we'll just say roughly a 50% price increase on these two moving averages. We're going to exclude this all-time high because it, it doesn't work with my model. So if we just assume that a similar decreasing rate of increase above those moving averages, we can kind of roughly guess that Bitcoins will be about 33% above these moving averages at the time of that price peak. So if we go back to that model, 
we can see that this is actually forecasting about $111,000, the value of these moving averages at the time of this cross, which would equate to with a 33% increase of Bitcoin's price above these of about $150,000, which is interesting because if we were to just model the rate of change of Bitcoin's price using the similar rate of change, we can go down and actually see that this would actually predict Bitcoin at $151,000. So this is just using the rate of change of Bitcoin over the recent price history, which would actually come to the same valuation as predicted by these two moving averages. What we can then do is go to the Bitcoin cycle master chart and look at the percentage increase of this overvalued line, which Bitcoin has peaked at every single cycle to see how much this line actually increases from the point where we currently are in the cycle to where we kind of expect Bitcoin's price action to peak in the summer of 2024 based on the Pi cycle top. So looking at the percentage increase of this overvalued line from now a few months into the future, we can see that this increased from around $33,000 to around $66,000 when Bitcoin's price peaked, so it doubled. And then back here, it went about from $2,500 to $16,000, $17,000. So again, this is decreasing somewhat. But if we were to assume a 25% increase in this line's valuation, over the next few months as Bitcoin's price continues to increase, as this currently sits at around $122,000. A 25% increase on that, again, is $150,000. So we have multiple different metrics pointing towards that $150,000 figure. And while that may be a bit optimistic to assume a potential $150,000 Bitcoin before September 2024, crazier things have happened. If you take into account the halving event, potential ETF approval, how illiquid Bitcoin supply currently is. Who knows? I certainly wouldn't complain at that price if it were to happen. If you like this video, then please visit lookintobitcoin.com where you can also consider becoming a site subscriber to get access to professional resolution charts, advanced macro and portfolio data tools, in-depth crypto industry reports, live and personalized indicators, private trend view scripts and more, all for a fraction of the standard industry price, like these CSV data downloads. I've used to just have a play around. Remember, this is just fun. Please don't take this too seriously just to play around and maybe have some rough forecast and modeling just to see maybe what Bitcoin could do in the future. As I said, please consider becoming a site subscriber. And if not, just enjoy all the free resources we have on lookintobitcoin.com. So just to summarize, while predicting the next Bitcoin all-time high is practically impossible to do, we can look to some of the more reliable metrics and mathematically forecast their current trajectory to get a rough idea. But like we said, keep in mind, I'm almost certain these aren't going to come to fruition. This is just a very rough idea. Markets change, fundamental events occur that change all of these models and inevitably will break this one. And with Bitcoin's largest price increase at the end of 2023, many metrics are pointing towards us entering the exponential stages of a Bitcoin bull cycle. But this is just based on the current trajectory. As soon as we have an extended drawdown period, which is probably inevitable in the next Bitcoin bull cycle, or maybe even a more exponential increase to the upside, all of these predictions will change. So do take these with a grain of salt. But using the most reliable peak timing metric in the Pi cycle top indicator and the most accurate peak price chart in the Bitcoin cycle master using that overvalued red line, we can have some speculative confluence of $150,000 Bitcoin price peak in late August 2024. Please don't be upset if that doesn't happen, but if it does happen, you know who to thank. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it's released. And let me know what your thoughts are on the next Bitcoin all-time high. Do you think that this forecast is going to be completely wrong? Do you think that maybe I'm undershooting the next Bitcoin all-time high? Do you think it might happen years after what these pretty rudimentary models predict? As I said, let me know down in the comments below and on social media. I look forward to reading and replying to all of them. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.